today we're going to be talking about six facts that you didn't know about rise of kingdoms unless you were an og and even some of you veterans may not know all six of these things and if you do you get to call me trash in the comment section below what's going on guys cheers did you know that julius caesar actually had a really massive buff to his skills all the way back in september of 2018. yes that's right julius caesar useless as he may be he was actually even worse than he is now in patch 1.0.9 we saw his primary skill get a really nice boost with an upper end going from 15 percent to 20 percent attack and defense buff and the all damage was increased from 25 to 30 but not only that his second skill and his fourth skill were buffed as well you see it doubles here the reduced damage taken by all troops doubled from 5 to 10. additional damage reduction doubled from 15 to 30. maximum troop capacity went from 10 to 15 percent just imagine how much worse caesar would have been if they didn't buff him in this patch and that's not even taking into the fact that caesar is already one of the most useless legendaries in rise of kingdoms i've already made a video talking about the six that i think are absolute trash so if you missed that video check it out but julius caesar and a ton of other commanders actually got tweaked in this specific patch i'm going to talk a little bit about this patch again later in the video og fact number two brings us to richard the first and esau if you guys didn't know the first 31 servers of rise of kingdoms had Esong and Richard in the gold keys that's right before Richard and Esong were on the wheel of fortune you could actually get these two commanders from gold keys just like you could Charles Martel El Cid and so on and so forth imagine you're a free-to-play player saving up gold keys and you get full summons of Esong Ye talk about actual value for your grinding there's still evidence of this on YouTube by the way this video posted by legend Roni over 200,000 views you can see he gets two Richard sculptures here and then on the next key he gets a full summon of Richard that's the money shot baby this was posted January 28th 2019 and I'm so grateful that the content creators like Roni uh, and like Chiskel have pretty much documented and archived all this really cool knowledge for Rise of Kingdoms so shout out to those guys Roni congrats on your full summon of Richard these commanders being in the gold keys used to actually be a pretty big part of jumper groups right because the goal was to create a new character in one of the older servers see if you can get a full summon or uh, you know as many of these sculptures of these two valuable commanders as you could and then migrate to another kingdom after that because in the beginning of the game you do get a decent amount of gold keys for free sadly sometime in 2019 they did actually remove Richard and Esong from the gold keys even in the first 31 kingdoms my best estimate is that this happened somewhere around March to June of 2019 I couldn't get an exact date on that but it, it happened somewhere in there obscure fact number three has to do with Joan of Arc's fourth skill this skill was changed not only once but twice originally Joan of Arc's fourth skill reduced the damage taken by all of your troops you can see here in the same 1.0.9 update they actually buffed this skill this fourth skill on Joan reducing the damage your army takes from 15 percent all the way up to 25 percent yes as an epic commander she gave you 25 percent damage taken reduction period across the board at all times which is absolutely insanely tanky especially for an epic and at this point she was pretty much the best epic commander in the game this is also an update that buffed her primary skill and her third skill as well which is absolutely insane and then just two months later in December of 2018 they completely changed her fourth skill into what it is today they changed the damage taken reduction to normal attack damage bonus so now she's dealing a little bit more damage as opposed to being more tanky like most players would have preferred her be the other way but hey it is what it is and we still love Joan of Arc the fourth thing on this list of things that only OGs will remember is that the Kurok ceremony used to be a hundred levels today it stops at level 50 but back in the day you had to go all the way to level 100 just to get these same rewards now the rewards were kept the same but the AP cost was doubled so back when there was a 
100 levels it only costed 50 ap to summon a new karak enemy so the total cost is pretty much the same i for one am really happy that they did this because it just takes way less time now back in the day you know the rewards they're so good that you pretty much had to do it but it was such a grind and now it's cut in half it's nice i'm happy that they did it because man a hundred levels that was absolutely brutal <laughs> Coming in at number five, only OG players will remember that Bybars, Bars, Ulji Munduk, and Tomo Gozen all have had their designs changed since they were first put into Rise of Kingdoms. This was the original design of Bybars Bars in Rise of Kingdoms. I guess this either wasn't historically accurate or maybe it was offensive or something like that, but this was honestly not that bad. I mean, he looks fine to me. I will say though that the new one is is a lot more badass and he also looks a lot more rich a lot more affluent he's got all the gold and the armor and things like that we take a look here he's wearing like all leather no jewelry nothing flashy here he almost looks like I don't know just sort of like a merchant on the street right so maybe that's why they changed him for some more historical accuracy this is the Ulji Mundok that everybody grew up with when we first started playing Rise of Kingdoms now I actually didn't see anything wrong with this again because what do I know but my assumption is that again they changed it to be a little bit more historically accurate I think this this design I think looks really cool I think he looks like a true like tanky warrior that's what I get when I think of or when I look at this design of Ulji Mundak this new one just looks like he hit the gym right okay he's a little bit more put together he's a they took some of the edge off right he's got the shiny horns and all that stuff he's a little bit more dressed up here that's that's the that's what I'm getting at ultimately I think both designs are really good the obviously the horns on him here look pretty badass but I think the original was fine as well and finally this was the original design of Tamo. she had an entirely white face obviously some sort of face paint or something like that uh, and I don't really know why they changed her I think they maybe thought this could have been offensive because she's in all white face honestly I really have no idea but really all they did was change her face pretty much everything else is exactly the same she still has eye makeup and lipstick and all that stuff and honestly she looks great okay if you guys missed my wife who tier list go ahead and check it out but I put Tamo pretty high on that tier list and finally the last thing on this list that you're only going to remember if you've been playing for a long time is that this game used to be called rise of civilizations this was actually a pretty big deal when it first happened you can see back in March of 2019 they made the decision to change the name of the game from rise of civilizations to rise of kingdoms and as you can see there's a pretty large amount of dislikes this was a pretty big deal back when it happened and in hindsight it doesn't matter and who cares anymore it's also cool to look in the comments and see all of the original content creators that are still making content to this day Shinchi saying he's very excited talking about this you know I guess he had heard about this coming before it actually happened kingdom versus kingdom was coming out you see gecko posted rise of kingdoms means fall of kingdoms too kvk is coming I feel it legend Roni says very nice and unexpected video I like the name fits perfect considering the direction of all kingdoms after lost temple is being taken even echo gaming was commenting here rise of kingdoms let's go uh, but what I find funny is that you still have all of the hate I'm considering uninstalling guys we <laughs> this community has been brutal from day one but again it's really cool that this video is still up and still on their channel it's a little bit corny and a little bit dated no shame on this guy but basically what they talk about is that this game came out in 138 countries around the world and they had to apply for copyrights for all of those different countries and not all of those countries actually approved their copyright my assumption is because this game looks very similar to the civilization games like that have been around forever that are the PC games you know what I'm talking about the branding the art style the commanders that they choose to post on all of their images it, it's pretty clear that they derived a lot from the civilization series when making rise of civilizations and because of presumably there being some sort of copyrighted conflict they were denied in a few countries so they had to make a choice do they want it to be known as rise of civilizations in most countries and then rise of kingdoms in just a couple 
or do they want to go ahead and just rename the entire game rise of kingdoms which is ultimately what they ended up doing and i gotta say i think this logo is much better than the rise of civilizations logo i mean this looks very classy very archaic right it's a little bit older this is flashy shiny bright new bright colors right and i think that's sort of the or the direction that they've been going in ever, ever since the beginning of the game that's sort of why you see the the redesign of those commanders we talked about they just became more colorful and flashy and i think that's i think that's good for a game anyway guys if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like it make sure you drop a thumbs up on it subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below if you knew all of these things or if i surprised you with a couple of little gems that you had no idea were changed with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace